So normally, the criteria, the cutoff normally is that we look at something called the body mass index. Mm -hmm. It's called yeah, the BMI. The BMI uh -huh. Yeah. So the BMI has a way of classifying people into the risk of hypertension and even other things. I think this is a very wide topic that uh, we can cover in a, in a, in a whole day. Uh -huh. But I think more importantly, it's just to look at it uh, in a nutshell uh -huh. that um, uh, obesity is directly equal to, is proportional to hypertension. Mm -hmm. And uh, they should normally say when you cut off your weight by even 5%, you are likely to reduce your pressures, especially the systolic pressures by about even 10 millimeters. That's very, very important. So normally, uh, normally uh, 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 control, weight control has a direct contribution to, to reduction of pressures and management of hypertension, if you have any. So um, in terms of the BMI, we usually say that you have those, those small cutoffs. Normally, we say someone has to be above, above between 18 to 24. That's the normal. That should be the normal. The if BMI. Are, the, the BMI. Okay. Because the BMI, normally, they calculate the height versus the weight, the weight, the weight versus the height squared. Mm -hmm. So uh, that one now, if you are less than 18, that one you are underweight. Then between 18 to 24.5 or 24.9, that one is normal. Now above 24.9 to nini, you are overweight. 24.9 to about 29.9. So now uh, you're above 30, now that is, that's now you are obese. Okay, yes. uh, so above 30, uh, the high chances of you having a high blood pressure. Yes, so, so normally, uh, overweight is not really bad, but once you are above 30, then you are likely to, to get hypertension. And even as you continue uh, trying yes. to analyze the whole, uh, the BMI, uh, the relation between someone's weight versus uh, them having high blood pressure, you, t you take a look at someone, for example, who regularly goes to the gym, a good example, the bodybuilders, mm. uh, for them. So help us understand now that bit, because this person regularly does uh, physical activity, but then uh, they're adding mass. Uh, so you probably have someone weighing 100 kg plus, vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, let's say, the height. So uh, Ed, could they be having a higher a BMI that is probably 30 plus? Uh, because, you know, they have a lot of a mass uh, compared to the fat? Okay, I think uh, that's, uh, make it, okay, that's a very, very good question. But I was just, I was just about to finish about the issue of the obesity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, please, before. Yeah, so because uh, um, that's a very, very important question. So when you look at, uh, when you look at the issue of the BMI, mm -hmm. we have that issue of the BMI, and then you have a very, very important thing that our, list, our listeners also need to, to understand. Yeah. There's, in, there's this thing called the waist circumference. Mm -hmm. The hip, the hip waist circumference. So um, that is usually very, very important also. If you are not able to, because BMI sometimes can give erroneous results, because you can get someone who is, who is short, mm -hmm. uh, the person is short, but uh, he's not that fat. So because now you see that one, someone, who is, someone can be very, very huge, but he's very tall. Now he'll have a, 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 smaller, a smaller BMI, yeah. because BMI now usually take weight, you divide by the height, the height squared. So if you, have a, if you are tall, you are likely to have a lower BMI, but still you have, you have issues, just as you are dressed. Mm -hmm. When you look at the bodybuilders, uh, you might find someone who is, who is very well built, uh, but he's tall. Mm -hmm. But now when you look, he has risk factors, he's maybe probably not obese according to the BMI, yeah. but uh, he's at risk of getting hyperte hypertension. So some of the other things that we look at are uh, the hip, the, the waist, waist circumference. So normally we say that uh, for a woman it's supposed to be less than 8, eight centimeters, 8, eight centimeters, and then for 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 a man it's supposed to be it's supposed to be it's supposed to be no, more, not more than 102. So those are some of the things that we look at. Uh, yes, centimeters waist, squared, uh, waist circumference. With, okay. Yes. So that is something that we usually look vis-a-vis -vis the BMI because if you learn that BMI is not giving you a very good result, then you can look at the, the waist circumference. Mm -hmm. 